This example shows how to use SolidWorks Electrical for routing um, pneumatics and hydraulics. This will focus specifically on hydraulics. Now I already have some of the project built up. I have a hydraulic cylinder driven by an actuator here, a, a four-port three-way actuator. And I've already put a couple other components into the design. I put in a pump, a filter, and those have to come from a reservoir tank, and then I've got my return line going into the return reservoir. Now drawing um, hoses or hydraulic lines in SolidWorks Electrical, we still use the wire tools. So I'm going to go into the single wire line type. But you can create wire groupings for hydraulic or pneumatic lines. So first I'm going to draw in the return line off this system and just graphically showing it dropping into the return reservoir and then drawing in the working lines. Now these lines can have um, uh, diameters and colors all defined. For example in my working line I've already got it set to be a 19 millimeter uh, line which is three quarter inch line and it'll be black. Okay, I'm going to use the black box tool to represent my reservoir on this end. And just for example, we're going to use tank one as the mark. And let's create a manufacturer's part for this tank. And we'll say that it's a half gallon reservoir. And I'm going to only use it for this project. Otherwise, I could add it to the uh, system for later use. Now, of course, all the manufacturer's parts uh, end up being in the reports. And you can tailor your report names so that um, they represent hoses uh, or um, I've got hoses in this case. I've got some, I'm using some harnesses specifically so I can flatten the hoses as well because I want um, my hoses to have connectors. So I've got connectors on the hoses and uh, here are the fittings that I'm using for those. There's the complete bill of materials of all of the manufacturer's parts including the tank and my hydraulic hose fittings, my hydraulic cylinders, line filters, etc. and my valve. All right, the next step will be routing these objects in 3D. So let's jump to SolidWorks Electrical inside of SolidWorks. And of course, from here, the user could preview and see the same uh, design data that's been created on the other sheet to verify where everything goes. And I need to uh, insert those fittings into my cylinder or my RAM here. And here's the valve actuator where I'm going to connect them. So my main cylinder has a couple child components and these are the fittings, U1 and U2. So I'm going to go ahead and insert U1. And U2 goes down on the lower end. And then I have corresponding uh, components down here on the lift valve. U1 and U2. Now I've combined these together into harnesses so when I route them in 3D I can flatten them. So in the harness selector I could certainly uh, choose to only run hose 1 or only rose, run hose 2, but in this case I'm just going to go ahead and run all of my harnesses. Now there are a couple options. I've got some EW path sketches in my system that I could use uh, to force the route to go immediately, or in this case I've suppressed those EW path sketches so that I can route them manually using the SOLIDWORKS routing tools. Now that the harness route is finished, I have the two harnesses and the valves are in their 
excuse me, the uh, connectors are in their associated harness assemblies. But the stubs have been created, but the route has not been finished since I did not use the EW path sketches. Which I do have some if we wanted to get it fully automated. So instead, I'm just going to edit the route. I'm going to convert the guideline. And then to make this uh, a little more um, uh, placed a little more effectively, I'm going to auto route this through an existing clip. And then make a little modification to the length here. Pull this out so this end runs a little more effectively. And let's do the same thing to this other route subassembly. Of course, if you choose, you can always edit the route. Add extra routing points and modify the design as needed. For example, in this case, I want to soften up this hose a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out this way. Now after adjusting the hoses, we can always use SOLIDWORKS Electrical to update the lengths that were calculated for our project reports. So from SOLIDWORKS Electrical now, I can go into my reports and see the lengths that have been calculated, but I'm going to go ahead and generate some drawings for my hoses and my bills and materials. So here are the two hoses, the raw material itself, the connection from U1 to U1 is 26, U2 to U2 is 13. And here are the fittings used. And then the remaining complete parts list for the design.